um, Ayaz Maiso, president of the finalist class, and my AKA, I'm Don Ayaz Sente. Experience has been really good at Gulu University. Uh, the concept of the language and the challenge of uh, facing the weather, really, you find that medicine here in Gulu is so challenging. You have to go a thousand miles running for the bus and achieving everything in a minute is not easy here. So everything is credential. There's nothing like going shortcuts. So I really credit my experience here has been good. Um, during medical school, uh, one of the things they told me is as a medic, you have to be in books 24 seven. I've come a long way from year one to year five, really. It's debunking. It's not the right thing they are talking about. You have to, you have to enjoy life. Actually, you realize uh, you have to let the brain play. Sometimes you go to clubs, you sip some uh, drinks and you come back. Sometimes you go out and have the best. Uh, in medical school, you have to take it all. It's not all about books, but understanding yourself. Yeah. Yeah, in my five years tenure, I would say leadership has been a key. Uh, it has been my strength. I've been a leader serving from the faculty as a president of the finalists, and I've served also countrywide as a PR of the institution in Uganda. And I've happened to also have served as another leader at African level students as a a monitoring and evaluations uh, office at the uh, FAMSA SCOPA committee. COVID was very traumatizing. I had not experienced it before. Changing from uh, physical lectures to online lectures, it has never been before here in Gulu University. At the medical, field, at the medical school, our faculty, um, I found it hard at the first time, but as time went on, I realized actually it's one of the easiest ways to attend lectures. Uh, finding a compressed semester of eight weeks where you have eight course units, it was traumatizing. Really, it, it was one of the it, COVID for me. The course has changed my business world thinking about medicine. It's not all about the clinical work. You really have to have the clinical skills plus the research skills. And that brings the ideology of entrepreneurship as a medic. You don't, really, you don't need so much to die in the clinic, but you need to express yourself outside, even in other fields. Really, I've been uh, honored to have good mentors at the faculty, and I appreciate them for that, for the skills of business or, and entrepreneurship. The nicest thing I've ever experienced at the faculty is that I joined medicine, I didn't have a friend. Then it comes this little angel friend that came to me and uh, she was like, we always sit alone in class. You don't want to talk to people. Guess her name. She's Katsime Ada. She comes to me and she tells me, I want to be your friend. Actually, she was my first initial friend I got at the faculty. That was so mesmerizing at that moment. I can't forget that. My contribution to the class is precise uh, in a way that I've been a good leader, uh, communicating in time, organizing lectures in time, and I've been pro students. Who, whatever students would be asking for, I would go for that. And uh, I really so thank for the students for their contribution to my achievement as a leader for them. That works. Um, one word I can share with the continuing students, medicine is very, stressful but medicine is very interesting so one thing you can take as a bite please be patient on what you want and know what you want know who you are don't be influenced by other people medicine will be good and create friends have moments in the medical school because there is no any other medical school undergraduate time you will have apart from this one uh, for, the, for those ones who would wish to join medicine, please, as at your, your secondary schools, I can assure you one thing you would do is prioritize the biology, 
prioritize the chemistry, the physics and mathematics. Uh, know what you want after finishing, be focused and always uh, lead what you want to do and what you wish to do at the medicine, aim higher. For you, you'll achieve the best and you'll come through to the medical world. Yes, five years back, I'd reflect still medicine. Why? As a profession, it's a calling. You want to save lives, reduce mortality, inspire other people. And as a fact, medicine is a calling. It's not a business. So I would go for medicine by passion and to save lives generally, to improve. I want to see people who are not moving, moving and giving hope to people in the communities because this is what we live. My vision after medicine is I've, it has just started. I still have another journey to take. I want to see myself going further, flying in the higher heights, maybe doing one of the postgraduate degrees. I don't know which specialty for now, because I can't tell, but one of the surgicals maybe. And one of the key things I would say, I'd, I've been happy, I'd, I've had friends, very good friends, the likes of Derek Otewa, Lambert Imetu, uh, Ampumo Zamori, Nasa, Chironde, the list is endless, but I can't forget this one specifically in Suvu Gayakobu. They have been so good friends. Generally, my class has been a good one, and I wish we continue moving as a group and as a family from medicine. Bye, till we meet again.